8th of January 2023, the first month of the year, the largest or the biggest opposition party, that's the National Democratic Congress, converged here on the uh, premises of the Paris Chapel International here in Jowulu, in Accra. Well, what are they here to do? It's basically for a Thanksgiving service. Well, according to the party, uh, this is the time to uh, seek for God's interventions and also to thank God for the elections that was held uh, somewhere in November last year. And so a number of uh, big wigs within the party, but uh, this particular Thanksgiving is led by the national chairman of the party, Johnson Asiedun Ketia, and also the general secretary of the party, Fifi Fiavi. Uh, founder of the Perez Chapel International Church, Archbishop Charles Ajinasari, uh, has been charging the leaders of the NDC to endeavor to protect the public purse when elected into office. It's obvious the greatest enemy of this nation is corruption. But looking at the way political parties fund their activities and campaigns, our view is that we are not going to fight corruption anytime soon. Those political business people who fund politicians end up hijacking the wealth of the nations. Politicians help, politicians help us to fight this. You must exercise the perception that Ghanaian politicians go into office to steal from the public purse and not to do service to the nation. Also, the national chairman of the NDC, John Senasiedun Ketia, while addressing the congregants, said that the party needs God's intervention ahead of the election of the flag bearer and also the 2024 general elections. Why are we here? We are here for a very simple exercise, but very important exercise. NDC over the past year, 2022, have gone through a very difficult but intensive series of elections. Within a year, we have elected over 400,000 party executives from branches to national level. And we did this by holding more than 40,000, in fact, 47,000 elections before we embarked on this difficult journey. We saw the face of God and prayed that God would take us through so that in the end, we will have a party solid as we began. We are here because the Lord has taken us through. We are not done yet. We have another set of 277 elections to go. We are going to elect candidates for all 275 plus one constituencies and also elect the flag bearer who will lead the party into the 2024 contest. But we think that if we thank the Lord he will shower more blessings so that he will see you through the next phase. Also in attendance is uh, some members of parliament. I'm seeing the ranking member on the health committee of parliament, uh, Kwabena Minta Kando, and also the member of parliament for Ningo Pram Pram, uh, Samuel Nati George. And so we'll speak to some of them shortly to find out their new year resolutions because the year has just begun. I'm sure a number of them would have a few things to say. And so we we'll would speak to uh, the uh, hello honorable how are you doing very well happy new year same to you so this year we've just begun what are your new year resolutions 
to work harder for my constituents and for this country and to continue to give of myself as best as possible. Okay, and regards to the economy, we're looking forward to a change. As an individual, we will thank God how far he has brought us. God has done his part. He's given us the power to govern ourselves. Unfortunately, um, we have been disappointed by the government. 2022 was a very tough year. You saw all the challenges in 2022. We are only praying to God that unless and until a miracle happens, 2023 is going to be tougher than 2022. And I say so because I'm a member of parliament and I sit in parliament and I know the budget for the 2023. I will not pretend that, I mean, something big, something different is going to happen. Last year, we saw a lot of things happening. This year, what do you want to see happen? What are your new year resolutions for the country? Uh, I would say, um, I hope that um, our country will become more and more aligned to what I would call the divine blueprints. Because every nation has a blueprint, and I feel we've been drifting away from that blueprint. So it's my own prayer that gradually we start getting more aligned to that blueprint. It's only through that blueprint that this country will find its way back to peace and to prosperity again. So that really is my deepest, deepest prayer, I hope. Right. We're going to see you hold your flag bearership uh, elections. And can you tell us a bit more about that? How is it going to go? Have you met to discuss anything regarding the elections? Uh, I'm not in a position to disclose that yet because the processes haven't been completed as yet. Uh, hopefully, we'll complete them by midweek. And once that is done, I'll come out with a formal announcement as to exactly what is going to happen. After this Thanksgiving service, the Opposition National Democratic Congress will be looking forward to holding its election of the uh, flag bearership positions, as well as the bigger one, which is uh, come 2024, the general elections. or well, the party is hopeful of being elected into power in that particular uh, elections that will be conducted by the Electoral Commission. Reporting for City News, my name is Akosia Ochri.